Hello. One thing which was really annoying me was that when I clicked into a directory, I could see the sizes of individual files, but I could not see the sizes of the folders or subfolders that were within that directory. So what I did was I built some code to help me find out what the sizes of these folders were, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So if you go to our Python shell, so the first thing I did was to import the OS module by typing in import space OS. And the OS module is the perfect module for what I want to do. The next thing I did was to check that the Python shell was reading from the location where I want to get the information about the folders from. In this case, I did a print check and I used the get CWD command in the OS module to check this. And I found out that this was not the case. So I changed that by creating a variable directory location and I typed in the location where I wanted to read these folder sizes from. In this case, I got this information by clicking the top bar here, pressing copy and then pasting it here, like so. Then I also replaced the backslashes with forward slash. And I also chose a folder to test. So in this case, I chose the PIX folder here because I know that this folder is very small and it'll be easy to check against to see whether my code is performing as I want it to. So I gave that the variable directory underscore location. And what I need to do next was to change the actual directory. So I type in os.chd and then in brackets typed in the variable directory location and I gave that a new variable called new underscore wd, wd for working directory. I gave that a quick check by typing in get cwd again, then I printed the results, ran it, and I could see that this location here matched the variable where I want to read from. So it was looking good. What I did next was to see whether I could just get the size of the folder itself by typing in os.path.getSize, then using the directory location variable and printing the results. And I found that when you print the results here, it doesn't work because what it does is it prints the actual size of the folder itself and not the contents of the folder. So this 4096, is in bytes and when you go into the pix folder you can still you can tell immediately that the first picture is bigger than this 4096 so now what we need to do is we need to find a way to cycle through each item within that folder adding up all the sizes of each one of those files and then printing out a sum of all those folders and file sizes and then having that as your overall folder size. So I got rid of that line because it wasn't good and I created the variable total dear size for total directory size and I equated that to zero. What I did next was to create a loop that would cycle through each item within that folder and add up the sizes in kilobytes, not bytes. So what I did is I typed in for file in os.listdir. Listdir lists all the files within that folder. And you can check this by typing in print file and then running it. And you'll, you can then go into your folder you want to check from and let's compare them side by side. And you can see that there is a match. So that was working well. I can now get rid of that. What I did next was to get the sizes of each one of these items within that folder. So I type in os.path.getSize and then I add the directory location and a forward slash and the name of the file so that it can go through each file individually and get that size. I equated that to x and x is, our now, is now our size in bytes. So what I did is I converted that bytes to kilobytes by dividing x 
by 1024 because there are 1024 bytes in a kilobyte. The next thing I did was to get, I need to get this total DSI's variable created outside of the loop updated every time this loop goes round. So I did that by typing in total DSI's and then plus equals, which is incremental increase, x in KB, which is our variable x in kilobytes. You can also check this to see whether you're getting the correct size in kilobytes, because when you go into the PIX folder, you can actually see the sizes of each one of these files, just not when you actually have it as a folder. So what I did is I did a print check and I ran it, and I can see here that I got the sizes in kilobytes of these folders, of these individual files within the PIX folder. And I compared that to the sizes here, and I could see that there was a match, which is good. So that print check's working fine. And what I can do now is I know that this now will be incrementally increasing, this loop will now work and at the end of it, I should have the total deer size of that folder. And what I can do now is I can print it all together. So what I've done is I've typed in print and then total deer size, total deer size. And you'll get the total size of that folder of pics, which is 2960.88 0.88 kilobytes but that doesn't look that great so what I did was I printed firstly I imported the math module as M and then what I did is I truncated that value to make it so it gets rid of all the decimal places I also put it as a string so then I can add kilobytes at the end of it so you know what the units were and then I ran it again and you can see here that the size is now looking much better. The results, it's much more user-friendly of 2,960 kilobytes. Now that PIX folder is small, but we can now use this to get the size of a much bigger folders. Because once it works like this, you can, be, you can be fairly sure that it's going to work for a much bigger file. So let's go through this videos folder here. It's got my old videos from my YouTube channel. And we're going to now change this to be from pics to videos. And we can get the sizes of each one of these folders here, just like we can for the individual files. So if you run that, we see here now we've got our size in kilobytes. And we can divide that by 1024 again to get megabytes, and again to get gigabytes. So that's just a tutorial on how I you can find the sizes of the folders using Python. Thanks very much for watching.